Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're doing the potentially last mission of the Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the absolute hardest difficulty, everything cranked up to the maximum. It's time for standoff at part two where we're finally meeting the Black Widow company and Black Widow herself. 32 salvage is more than plenty. Bradford, although he is on low spirits, will lead the entire mission. I think, given that he is on low spirits, I'd like him to run the bull shark, and we're going to use the atlas because the atlas, from time to time, needs to um, needs to target shot. And we are fighting in desert, which is a tough biome to fight in, and it's straight up a uh, fight against them. If I'm not mistaken, it was sort of a tournament style, so the, the, the map wasn't that large, but I might be mistaken that with the last, last fight of the actual storyline. Good, let's jump into it and kick her ass. Fantastic, let's begin the mission. Reaper, Bradford, Lily and Mox are running on the last mission. Natasha Black Widow. wants to fight us and i'm pretty sure that this is going to hurt defeat the black widow company we're moving into the forest question is is there enough forest move order confirmed I moved behind the stone, but I'm not sure if this will really cover us. Lily moves in here as well. Yeah, I don't like the stray shots. They would probably win the initiative, so I gotta no go with the stray shots. Well, there we go. Even more enemies coming in. Damage minimal. Even more enemies coming in. Black Widow. Runs a Marauder. That is cute. Not really good, but cute. Reporting. Minimal damage. All right, stability damage, quite a bit. Unsteady. Good to go. So if I was to use a thumper cannon. That would still work fantastic we do not have enough uh, mm, we do not have enough to use vigilance here so let's just retract a little bit Fire down and hit all three of them with a thumper Yep, I said I was afraid about the stray shots, but everything else would have been even worse. Uh, took a heavy hit there. Moving up with the Atlas. Unfortunately, Bradford was a wet blanket that required even, even more, um, even more resolution than the others. So vigilance on the others would have worked. For him, it did not. Let's multi shot, shall we? Archer here, B and C. Let's 
Good. Multiple enemies locked in. The archer, due to the stability damage, needs to die first. Marauder is the second target. Analyta is a strong target, but we will need to manage it a bit later. Standing by. Our annihilator takes a front position, and now is a good time to fully unload. Get that archer down. 25 hit points. That's gonna hurt. Too bad. Waiting for orders. Lily with the Atlas 2 should be able to tank for a bit. Fantastic. McLean, you know what really should have uh, looked uh, that gift horse in the mouse? Wait, is this who I think? Uh, who is it? The goddamn Arachnid on the field. Well, they hate each other, which is fine. So they will now also start fighting against one another. Perfect for us. As these guys can now start battling it out. Barely hit, Commander. There we go. The Bounty Hunter does not see us at all at the moment, so I would suspect they will not attack us. Fantastic. And instead, they are going for the Annihilator. This here would be such a great thumper hit. Annihilator takes even more stability damage. We really need Gyros or Gyrus in our mechs just to prevent that from happening. Stability damage is potentially with our lance still one of the things that does not really work in our favor. Fantastic. They are going for the enemy annihilator. Left arm is gone. Yes, Commander. Move order Moving up. Vigilance so that the stability damage is not a problem anymore. And let's just help with destroying that annihilator. All right, the next pilot is just injured. Fantastic. Like Widow is riding the Warhammer here. And she seems to want to go for the entire enemy force at once. Well, that's up to her. Nihilator moves a bit. We're saving some of the heat. Good to go. All right, so this is this and B. Let's just take one shot for B so that we're removing that we're removing the 
Evasion blips. The Marauder in the meantime takes some damage. Fantastic. Order. And we're putting the Atlas up front. Marauder takes almost all the heat, with the exception of the LRMs. Target's taken a critical hit. Hot damn, let's do this! Good, fantastic. Well, like Widow and the Warhammer. It's pretty much all on her own. Fighting these guys. And resorts back to melee attacks. That is cute. The enemy archer hopefully continues to go for the Annihilator. For whatever reason, it decides to rather go for our Annihilator. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Orders. All right, Bull Shark. Thumper cannon. Fire down range. Four hits. Can't really pass on that opportunity. Fantastic damage. And as long as they are not starting to completely focus us, we should actually be fine. Why exactly? I've lost stability. Battle mech down. Oh boy. I'm gonna need a medic. Reaper takes some hits as well. Well, fantastic. Everybody seems to now go for us. Which in a free for all. I mean I can't blame them. I've been sensor locked. It is what it is, right? Yes, Commander. Stand up. One of the legs, the left one. Right. Back in the fight. Move order confirmed. Has been a bit injured. Can't multi-shot, but we can deal with the Annihilator. Eighty-four hit points, I think we can kill it. Yeah, there we go. Hustle eliminated. Right, the left leg is on this side, so we should be okay. Commander? Atlas 2. Let's deal with this nasty Marauder. Well, the Marauder is almost overheated, right? The others are too far away, though. Good, here we go. Critical hit. Commander. Yeah. Mm. I need to save a Vigilance for next round. Good, this Marauder needs... 
to eat some damage. Alright, small laser, medium laser for the other marauder here, and then the full salvo over to the bounty hunter marauder. Alright, by the way guys, this marauder here puts his back into your direction. Easy target. And there is also yet another mech, just in midst of you, all of your mechs. Like Widow herself. But yeah, you could also, of course, just randomly shoot the Annihilator. For no other reason than it being there. Not sure why everybody is missile locked on the annihilator. Armor breach, internal damage. Oh, wow, finally. Yeah, they were not on your side, you know? You could attack Awaiting them at order. any point. So one more enemy. All right, moving over here. And let's just sensor lock this guy. Our sensors are distorted. We're not hitting shit anyways. Might as well sensor lock him. Good. We still need to deal with that lance. Moving over here. Vigilance. And this Marauder. Is finally taking some damage. Very nice. Okay. Bull shark moves up. Target lost. It's go time. Critical hit, Commander. Good. These guys have double heat sinks, is what I'm realizing. It just said uh, heat sink D destroyed, standing for double heat sink, which means their mechs are almost completely lost tech. Let's start. The archer needs to take some damage. And... Yeah, I think that that is okay. The marauder is completely emptied, so... Might as well put this here all on C. You know what? We'll keep it at B. And just one shot on C to get the rifles, a uh, rifleman's evasion blip gone. Here we we need go. to still kill the marauder at a, at some point. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Gyro Double Plus and Heat Bank Double Plus. These guys are well equipped. Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to loot any of that lost tech. Archer moves up. I can't take much more of this. Did he really shut down? Oh. Ready for orders. That is a bit stupid. All right, because once the mech is shut down, you can essentially just hammer on it. That Marauder here won't do much. You can still kill it next turn. Okay, well, our Annihilator needs to definitely re internal. retreat. What is he doing? Commander. Are you serious? Affirmative. Alright, 60% damage reduction. And these guys apparently are just trying to get someone down. Rifleman just lost half of Scored a critical hit. Of its weapons. We're down to 24 hit points. I uh, got it. Commander? Got to make sure that we're dealing with these guys. On my way. Affirmative. All right, so rifleman is down. Standing by. Redford Roger that. offers to be a better target. Roger. That hit something good. Fantastic. Come on, people, let's make it happen. Battle mech power up detected. Good. The archer took a lot of damage. We're still going for Vigilance and we're just showing the back, even if that means that we're, that they can shoot us straight in the back, but the back armor is better than no armor at this point. Shark moves up vigilance. Confirm. The other LRMs are definitely crit. Okay, fair enough. He's trying to overheat us. Barely hit. Over the red line. Heat damage. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Okay. So ER medium and ER small lasers. That's still Firing Extended range versions are still doing quite a bit of damage. Enemy down. Waiting for orders. On my way. Atlas moves over. And we're taking away the LRMs.
Straight up normal laser attack. Ah. Didn't work out. Potentially should have just melee attacked. All right, good. Awaiting orders. Here we go. Commander. Acknowledged. Okay, let's hit this guy. He has ER small lasers plus plus. These are great. Super good um, melee attacks, um, snap PPCs, infernos, and LRMs. He's a good ranged attacker. I give him that. Standard Atlas, but fantastic equipment. Let's try. How how much armor does he have in this area? Yeah, let's try to hit him where it hurts. Almost a little bit reduced, but not much. All right, time to hit the Atlas. Critical hit, Commander. Structure exposed. And in the meantime, let's kill this guy. Fantastic, good. Which only leaves us with the Atlas. Alright, here we go. Time to dismantle this bad boy. Fantastic. Good to go. He made a crucial mistake by just moving in. Our Atlas now can start picking him apart. Center torso. There we go. That's a kill. That was uh, surprisingly hard, but very climatic uh, ending mission of this mission. Both of them mostly fought against us and they were full of lost tech. If we wouldn't have uh, Realoot disabled as one of our options, uh, this would be a fun way of just getting all of the nasty loot, like 28 uh, points, and they had just fantastic weapons. So after you dismantle them, you'll get a lot of loot. And even though we have rare loot disabled, there are a couple of things that we're essentially being able to get. Rangefinder plus plus is good. A few LRM 15s. Not sure why we're getting those. Theoretically, we wouldn't be able. It's interesting that we couldn't claim any of. Uh, the max, to be honest. But that should be the should have been the last fight. 
in this flashpoint. Fantastic, we won. And the Mjotaborn should give us access. Good. MOB rating is in your captain's quarters. So, first of all, plus 15 on all of the... On all of the reputations. Plus 250 on the mercenary board, which will certainly allow us to be kind of amongst the top mercenaries. And what did we get? We get a uh, Kitaro, not useful. Shitty small gear. Well, that, wow, those items are. The faction reputation is fantastic, but this year is really anticlimactic in terms of what kind of mechs we should be getting. So, Kitaro. Off you go, and in the Mac Bay. We certainly don't need a Wolverine at the moment, and we most certainly also don't need a Cicida. Good, guys. That really brings us to the end. It was definitely the, well, that is was definitely kind of uh, the last part of uh, that flashpoint. Having a five-star flashpoint with an iconic battle at the end of a nice campaign uh, really makes for a great closing. So, what have we learned? It is possible to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty. It took a while, but the Swan Song crew uh, persevered. They were injured quite often, but we did not lose anyone. And if you... Or if I would continue just uh, playing here, eventually we would um, get all of uh, the guys to 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, they've done a fantastic job uh, so far. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you uh, the later skills due to uh, slow skill progression, but I most certainly could show you most of uh, the uh, yeah, standard max. Yeah, well, maybe half of uh, the standard mechs. I could certainly show you a couple of builds. So that was fun. A couple of takeaways uh, from the mechs. Lost Tech, as always, is fantastic. Once you are kind of on that uh, top tier with assault uh, mechs, it really becomes significantly easier. So that's also why now is a good uh, time to stop the campaign or call it, um, a, or call it a win. Essentially, once you reach that assault here, you've built up everything that you need. And with those four mechs, you've seen we can take out uh, two squadrons of really heavily modified and, and well played other mechs. So that worked well and the run itself was also good. If you are interested in more Battletech content, what I'm going to do and release after this uh, after this run is a couple of guides with the strongest lance that exists in uh, the standard game, with the strongest heavy lance, with the strongest medium lance, and the strongest small lance, just to give you some flavor for um, really good uh, lances. I'll also do a guide on weapons and loadout for Battletech in general because I think that warrants definitely a specific guide for team comp and for mech design. Maybe I'll do one each. And finally, I will do potentially a sort of fun uh, video where I'm trying to uh, build up uh, the weakest mechs in the game and make them competitively usable. If any of that interests you, stay tuned because those videos will release 
I'll put them into the guide section and respectively into just a Battletech um, section in general. Furthermore, if you're interested in Battletech content in the future, I would ask you to leave a comment uh, down below and tell me about it. There are quite a few mods that overhaul the game for more difficult gameplay that might be even more difficult than what we've seen here. I'm more than happy to look into the mods and play a few of them. The only request that I would have is it needs to be uh, something that can be done within 40 to 50 sessions so that we can get a run out of it. Everything that is substantially longer than that potentially won't make for a good let's play. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your attention, guys. I really appreciated the time in Battletech and I hope you had a good one as well. See you soon. Bye bye.